Okay, so finally finished the cement uh, platform. If you want to see the videos for that, look in the link in the description. Maybe I'll add it somewhere in here. And here we go. It's good to use the blood scissors. Not to get it on your hands. Applique. Apply, okay. apply it. Okay. The string is the level. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. In the yes. Esquina. Mm. Corner. Okay. And hit it. Hit it. Uh, Oh. Es mucha distancia. Big distance. Yeah. Siempre apoyando la mano para que vaya igual. Another fruit adventure. <laughs> okay, so we're putting the tiles on in a special shape. Kaylee will demonstrate how we get this shape. And there it is. We'll get various shapes. That's the underside of it. Beautiful, look at that. Wow. It's muy lindo. Slowly <laughs> well, making that progress. Maybe one or two more days. Okay, so the floor, making a video here, last day hopefully, well we'll still have more, <laughs> more work to do on this, so Katarina's helping me with the grout, groutix, which will be filling in the gaps that are not filled by the bondix, I'm learning a lot about flooring, <laughs> we'll get it wet, and then we fill it in, we use this bag method, kind of like a pastry, Chef. <laughs> okay, now filled it in and cleaned it, and we'll clean it again tomorrow. Next stage will be staining.
So, staining the floor for a slightly darker look. Right now it's still unstained, so we'll see how it looks. Staining the floor. From this color to that color. Looks good. Very nice. Muy lindo, muy lindo. Okay, finally finished with the tiling. Took a long time between the days, but as you can see, the process took a long time itself. So, yeah, basically, next step making the kitchen cabinet.